All right, let's talk about how we're going to use this tracking page efficiently for us. So in Google Classroom, we have the tracking page responsibilities. And so if you ever can't remember what these are, you can always come here and look. And this just shows you what colors to use and kind of your responsibilities as you're tracking yourself on our student tracking page. So here are your responsibilities. First off, you only update your name. You should not be changing anyone else's information. Um, I know accidents can happen, so of course you can always undo, um, and you can always go to that person and just explain, I'm so sorry, I thought I was on my name, but I was actually on yours. I changed it to this. Um, well, where were you at? I tried to undo and it didn't work. You can always do those things too. Just be honest about it, but please, please, please be careful and make sure you're only changing your name. Um, if you change other information and you're not owning up to it, then that's going to end up being a meeting with me. And we're going to have to figure out what the issue is. Okay? Um, so when you're changing information for your name, here's our color coding system that you're going to use. So we all know exactly where each of us are on the grid. So green is if the level that you are working on is 100% done and you're ready to move forward to the next level. So let me give you an example. When you're working on the grid, if you're at this video, for example, that means you should have already done all of the sections in 1A, and so you can fill that spot as green because you're done and ready to move on. So the way you do that is when you're on that box, you just go up to the little pink can here, and you'll just fill that in green. And that way we know, and you know, that we're done with that, we're on to the next one. Okay. Um, for blue, this is the level you're currently working on. So right now you're in 1B working on this color coding section. And so this is where you would fill in that spot blue. Blue is what you're currently working on. Green is 100% done and moving forward. Blue is what you are working on right now. And again, you just go up to that paint can when you're clicked on that box and you fill it in with that paint can color. Okay, and so that's how we can see as you're moving forward. Now, let's say you're on 1D. Well, if you don't have the colors filled in for that part before, I don't know if you have that done. And you don't know, and neither do your classmates as well. So we want to make sure we're keeping up with that. And as soon as you get done and you move on to the next one, make sure you're filling in your colors so we can see that. Okay, now these next colors we're going to use on the next page. So orange is if you need a teacher's signature. So occasionally there's times where you need to get something checked by me. And so you'll fill in that box orange for... Um, gain a teacher's signature. But we're not going to do that on this. This is just to see our progress of moving our way through so we know where we're, um, what we've done and where we're at currently. For the next color, so orange, so starting those next colors, we go to the questions and support page. So let's say, and I know this is me, but let's say I needed a teacher's signature. Okay, I could fill in, and you can do it um, here if you'd like. You can do it either one, really. But I would fill that in orange, and I could even put um, in here what I need to teach your signature for. So maybe it's practice, oops, practice page two. I could do that, or I can just put it as orange because we know that means teacher signature. Okay, so that is for orange. So green is 100% done. You're moving forward. Blue is the level you're currently on, and both of those we are doing on the self-tracking page here. Then when you have orange, that's if you need a teacher's signature, and you're doing that on the questions and support page. Now these next two are the most important colors because these are the things that can kind of stop our progress, and we may need some help from either me or another classmate. So yellow is if you have a question, but it can wait because you can keep going with your progress. You don't need it answered immediately in order to keep going on. Um, so if someone's busy and they can't help you right away, you would have that be yellow, but it's still a question that you need answered. So you could maybe have this be if you need to go to the bathroom, for example, right? Like let's say I need to go to the bathroom. I'll change this to yellow. And I can even put that up here. I can even say that need to use bathroom. And you know what's great about this is that if I'm going to have this up on my screen, and I can just real quick be like, oh, Miss Lynch, you can go ahead. And no one even needs to know what their question was. 
because we can just get it taken care of um, very, very easily. Now, sometimes this might be a question about the grid, but maybe it's not something stopping your progress. Like maybe you just have a quick, small question about something. Um, you know, maybe it's changing the color and you don't need to do that right that second, but you want to get it answered before the end of the day. You could even change it to yellow and just say, um, question about... Actually, you don't need to put question, I guess, because we know it's a question because it's yellow. But you could say... Um, need help changing the color of my box, something like that, okay? And what's great about that is we can also have other students help with that. So if I'm busy, but you notice that someone else is needing help with something and you know the answer to that, go ahead and help them. That's why we need to keep this page on our screen all the time and constantly checking in so that we know who needs help and can we help them. If it's a question you don't know the answer to, that's okay. But if you do, you should be helping out your fellow classmates with those questions. So yellow is if it's a question, but you can wait if, if someone's too busy to help you right at that second. It's something you can wait on. Now red, very, very important. Red are questions that you cannot move forward without help. So let's say um, you have a question about something in the notes and you just, you can't even move on to the practice because something's not making sense in the notes to you. You need to change that box on your name to red. And um, if you have time, you don't necessarily need to because as soon as I see red, I'm trying to get to those kiddos as quickly as possible, as should you. If you see a classmate that's red, Real quick, you should be seeing, hey, can I help you out? Especially if you're further along. But if it is a, a, a ch if you do have a chance to write in your question, feel free to do that. So maybe, maybe you don't understand something, or maybe it's something like the link to, uh, to F, oops, isn't working. Well, you really can't go forward if the link isn't working, right? So we need to make sure we're getting those things taken care of. So red is if it's something that is stopping your progress, that you cannot move forward unless you get help from someone. So those are our colors. Green and blue, again, those are what you're using on the self-tracking page just to see. Green is what you're done with and you're moving forward. Blue is where you currently are at so that we can see how far you're going in the grid. Um orange, yellow, and red, those are things that we're going to use on the questions and support page. So this is where you're changing orange if you have a teacher's signature you need, yellow if you have a question but you can wait, it's not something stopping your progress, or red is it something that needs to be answered right away so you can keep moving forward. So those are the different color rules that we use. If you ever forget where, uh, or, um, what colors to use. Remember, we have the tracking page responsibilities right on our stream in Google Classroom, and so you can just click on that and it'll give you a quick reminder of what color is which.